the question is, what about the evolution of consciousness? Isn't this another of the uh, uh, conceits that only humans are conscious? I, I'm paraphrasing. Um, but uh, would I include that in the, in the demotions? Uh, Annie Drian and I wrote, wrote a book uh, called Shadows of Forgotten Ancestors in which we tried systematically to look at each of these, uh, what I've called, conceits. And I think the most startling thing we learned, or I'll speak for myself, that I learned in the course of doing that book was how we kept getting it wrong on these issues. Now, consciousness has various meanings. If it means an awareness of the external world and modifying your behavior to uh, take account of the external world, then I think microbes are conscious. If you mean deep thoughts like uh, Bishop Barclay's contention that nothing exists except what's in his mind, I'm with the microbes myself. <laughs> um, you see, how do you know that I think any thoughts? Only because I happen to be communicating to you. You can't easily tell that I have philosophical thoughts by looking at me drinking this cup of water, right? So imagine that I was mute, that I could not communicate by speech or writing or anything else. Then how would you know if I had such thoughts? The evidence for uh, not just the so-called higher apes, but running through the apes and the monkeys to me, is very persuasive that they have thoughts. Not only deep philosophical thoughts, but useful practical thoughts, like lying, like deceit, like planning to fool others, thinking about it far in advance. But let me just give one, uh, one little image which I like because it covers many different grounds. These are the results of um, work at the Arnhem Colony in the Netherlands, uh, where there's a large uh, free roaming community of chimps. Um, males are uh, testosterone riven and subject to raging hormonal imbalances. Um, they get angry at each other and uh, pick up rocks. They go quite a distance to get the rocks in order to confront the guy who they don't like and throw stones. The very act of going over there out of sight of the enemy to pick up the stones and then bring them back to throw the stones shows thinking ahead, understanding a goal and aware of yourself and the opposition. But the most interesting thing is it is common for female chimps, seeing the males burdened with their stones, to walk up to them and disarm them, pluck the stones out of their arms, open up their fingers and throw the stones away. And when the males in a huff gather them up, the females disarm them again. So not only do the males know what they have in mind, the females know what they have in mind. <laughs> and that, to me, not only is consciousness, but a uh, social arrangement I'd like to see more of in humans. <laughs>